Here with us now is our business host these past two weeks, Joan Walmsley, owner of Taylor Jones and Fine Point Embroidery here on County Road in New London. Thanks for joining us and thanks for hosting us. Thank you for having me. Now, I know probably a lot of people are familiar with Taylor Jones, um, but maybe not so much about the fine point embroidery portion of your business. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Fine point embroidery started um, almost three years ago okay. when my husband decided that we should add embroidery to the tailoring. And um, we bought the machine, did a lot of research first, and bought the machine. It's a very large machine. It's very complicated. took a lot of training. Oh, I bet it does. <laughs> and, um, but it's, it's such a really neat piece of equipment to play with, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. But in the process, I'm able to make customized gifts and work clothing and so forth. And so I want the community to know that we're here, and it's all in the same right. building, and um, the work is done right here in New London. Very nice. We let people bring things in to have them embellished, or I have products in the store. That oh, can so you be can actually buy some things here. Correct. Um, certain things. I always have aprons in stock. I have them in adult and children's sizes. I have some baseball caps. I can order sweatshirts and t-shirts. We have lots of different colors and sizes of sweatshirts available in stock okay. and many, many more that we can order. Um, but I can get anything from children's items That's just adorable. to towels. I have bags, canvas bags that could be used Oh my gosh, so the machine did all of that? The machine did all wow. that. Wow. My machine will use 15 different colors in one run. Wow. So as long as your design has 15 or fewer, mm -hmm. then you don't have to make any changes. The machine just runs. The complicated part of the process is making it in the computer. Okay, and, right. Um, you set everything up and then you send it to the machine and you tell the machine which needles to use for which process and off it goes. This is beautiful. From a distance it almost looks like cross stitch. Thank you. It, yeah. It's very, this, very nice. This was a really nice design. It goes design. through really thick uh, material too. This is a canvas tote. I have them in different sizes. I have them in backpack. I have them in tote. I have okay. them zippered and unzippered. You can get them in all different formats, but we can put embroidery on anything I can get an embroidery hoop in. That's, that's great. I do carry these bamboo towels, which are very soft, and oh, I have them in nice. several different colors, and I can get them in 15 different colors. So now, um, obviously, this makes a great gift for somebody, and you could put, you right. could put um, family names, you could put organizations, locations? I have blanks, which means that the, the items that you'll see in my store generally have very, very few things have something already on them. And that's because I want you to come in and tell me what you want on it. If you have a child, which this obviously is for, whose family has a home on Pleasant Lake, maybe you want a Pleasant Lake sweatshirt for that child. It, it just depends. You can't just walk in any store and get something with Pleasant Lake oh, on exactly, it. Oh, exactly. I've done baby gifts for showers for people who oh. use their summer home name on things, or uh, a summer home name on an apron is nice to just have on a hook in the in the apron, in the kitchen. Um, gifts that are personalized is so much more special. Well, and so for here for the towels, you ha you could. Do monograms. Right. This towel is monogrammed. Gift. And the monogram can be done in many different formats. This is one that I chose because it's it's not too feminine. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, when you're using in the bathroom where men and women are using, I just wanted something more simple. Not quite so fluffy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so this one is something that I can do on any of the towels. I do them on cosmetic bags. And I have, in fact, even embroidered on toilet paper. <laughs> 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 we have some fun toilet paper ideas just to have something sitting on the back of the toilet. Oh, fun. fun and fun. it is actually embroidered. So people can come in and get some great um, birthday gifts or Christmas gifts and 
if they don't know exactly what they want, maybe you can talk them through some things and come up with ideas? I have some books with design ideas. Oh, good. Or there's a website where I can buy embroidery designs that are already made. And you can go through that website and see what ideas you like. Then in my software, I can edit the design. Say maybe you like this design, but you don't like the colorings mm -hmm. of it or you want to take out one feature or another, we can do that and then we can personalize it by putting a name or a business name or a company, hmm. whatever, whatever suits good. your needs. Sounds good. We can also do workwear. Uh, we can oh, for companies. Right. We can yeah. make a logo and embroider it on shirts and baseball caps and uh, I can get safety Very wear. Very nice. Very nice. Well, thank you very much for doing this, and we encourage our viewers to stop in to Fine Point Embroideries and take a peek. Thank you. When we return, I'll wrap up this weekend edition of the Kearsarge Chronicle, with some highlights coming up on the next weekday edition, starting on Monday evening. So stay with us. Mm -hmm.